All right, guys, we're covering collar sleeve. Okay, so collar sleeve is like this. Okay, and we're gonna try and set up a, a triangle choke. Okay, um, now let's just go through. For, like what, what you usually want to do to set up the triangle, we've got the collar and the sleeve here. So you have your other foot in the bicep so that they uh, can't control that leg. And we're going to step on the hip, extend to break the posture, lift, and start to shoot through for the triangle. Right? Now, let's just go through getting to position first. So if we go back a moment. <laughs> we're going to initial grips and I want to get to collar sleeve. A mistake would be to try and go for the the hips first with my, my legs, okay? If you go for your, if you try and put your feet on their hips, they're gonna control your legs really easy. Okay? What I wanna do is get his hand above the line of my of my hip first, okay? Then when he, so, when his hand's below my hips, he can control my legs, okay? So we're going here, we're gonna get a, usually a collar grip, a sleeve grip here. I'm gonna fall back and put this foot like up near the, the head, called like a half lasso. Imagine you're about to kick their neck, okay? Almost there, okay? And you see here, when I go to this posture, I've pulled his hand higher than my hips, okay? Now, if I can get my foot on the on the hip, it's very hard for Bin to remove my leg, okay? So, that's just how we we enter into our into our open guard. We tend not to go like feet at the hips here. It's a big mistake, you're gonna control, okay? Okay, pull up, sleeve, pull back. Foot comes up nice and high, okay? And now that his arms above the line of my hip, I can start attacking. Okay. All right. So let's go through that now. Right. So from here, what the first one we're going to do is, we we'll assume that Ben has left a little gap between his knee and his elbow. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. We can try and force that gap, uh, but for now we're assuming that he's actually left that gap. Okay. My left foot can now shoot through and get into the, the hip. Okay. Now I've got like a good ability to keep his posture broken. Okay, so Vin's trying to stand up and posture. If I'm pushing with my legs and my pulling back with my arms, it's going to keep his posture broken. Okay. So his, his elbow is disconnected from his knee and I can start shooting up towards the triangle choke. Okay. I just want to add one extra detail here. So, so actually, let's just first talk about how I shoot for the triangle and then a little extra detail. Okay. Don't open your legs and then shoot because I don't have his elbow line connected and it's, it's going to be loose. So if I go like this, everything's loose, okay? I extend, I'm going to bring my hips up by kind of stomping both feet down and pulling with my arms. Notice, like this, not like this, okay? So my elbow is kind of pulling above my head. Okay. This brings his nice and close and you can lock up a good triangle immediately. Okay. So again, we go back. Collar and sleeve, or it could be whichever uh, first. You can even just go with the sleeve if you want first, and then get the, the collar here. Okay, foot in front of the, the bicep. We're going to step on the hip, extend so that we've got good like push pull, stomp our feet down, and then you take your leg across the neck here, and it should all be pretty tight. Okay, now the one extra detail the way Bin, when his elbow is disconnected from the knee. The way he can defend the triangle is he sits back, okay? And he's, see how his knee becomes in front still, okay? So, sometimes you get your position and he sits back and I can't get my hips up to catch the triangle, okay? So what you're gonna do before you shoot that triangle is drop your knee to the inside, drop my knee inside Bin's knee, okay? Now if he sits down like that, it doesn't matter, I still have a, uh, a pathway to shoot my hips up, okay? So Vin does it on me. Okay, collar sleeve. Okay, good. Foot's on the on the bicep. Okay. When he goes to the hip here, I want to defend by like putting my knee inside and, and sitting back. Okay. Now if he shoots for the triangle here, see my knee gets in the way of his hips. If Vin turns his hip out, his knee's on the inside of my knee, I can't do that now. If I sit back, I'm getting straight. Uh, getting caught. Okay. So all together, collar, sleeve, falling back, foot in front of the, the neck here, other foot in the bicep, we're going to get a good deep collar grip, step on the hip, move your hips out a little bit so your knee goes inside and then we can stomp down, shoot our triangle. I'm not going to go through how to finish a triangle, That's, I'm assuming you guys know how to do that, if not, just do your best. Okay. 
grab the head and squeeze. Three, two, one. <laughs> He's gonna be very focused on his elbow to knee connection. Okay, so again, we, we get our half lesser, the Ari, the Ari Tebek special. Okay, put right in front of the, um, right in front of the neck here. Okay, not a full lasso. Okay, once my once my foot goes through, I'm kind of committed to that. If, if Bin jams down on that, it's hard for me to take the foot out and, and go back to the other attack. Okay? If you've got it here, it keeps distance. If he tries to go forward, I can push him away. Um, and I can also take my leg out and attack triangles and, and so on too. Okay? So, if Bin re recognizes I want to get the foot on the hip and extend, or even I just sometimes instead of the foot on the hip, I just like kick and pull and that can pull the the elbow open, but now he's really tight there, and that's difficult. Okay. So what we can do is a Delaheva hook, like so. Okay, that's our, that's our answer to that. Okay, so we're missed, we're looking for the hip. We can't. We're gonna swing and get a good Delaheva hook here. So on the outside, hook. All right. If he's still, I'm, I'm still from here. I can still like if I uh, if he's less tight with that, and I can open that gap. I can go back to our our previous technique. Okay. So Ben will be, as I'm pulling that, he's keeping his knee really tight. I can take my right foot to the stomach here, or to the hip, either way. I like the stomach. Pulling in, with my elbows coming high, and then I'm gonna do a back roll. So I like this. All right. Knees to your chest. Pulling with your elbows nice and high. Okay, so it's really, the, the the forward momentum is a lot from my arms, but like this, okay. If I walk around and people are doing this, this doesn't do anything to bring him forward, okay. Pull this, this is a weak pull, okay. This is much better, okay. okay. So leading with your elbows, kind of like that. Like so, okay. I'm collapsing my knees to my chest, and then I'm pushing up to go over. Okay. Another common mistake, People push away as they pull, and they end up like pushing them back instead of forward. I actually want to pull him in, so my knees are coming in, and then once his weight's at a certain point, I can kick this way, okay? So I never really push away, apart from like, uh, I should just say, you've got like a little tension with your legs, not to push them back, but to get like, uh, like when I collapse in, it can kind of like, you know, I, I'm pushing and getting a reaction, and I, and I go, but I'm not, doing that okay this will, will lose everything that I do okay so I never really take my knees as, as I'm pushing I'm not putting my knees away I'm just putting some tension collapsing in and then we can go over and through okay. obviously at any point with this if Bim was to uh, like change his mind let's say let's say here I go for it and then he starts like looking to post or yeah balance or, or sit back you get a chance to come in again for the Trying with that elbow to knee connection. Okay. Once more. Collar, sleeve, half lesser. We're gonna go in for the hip, but we can't, so we go to the outside hook, foot on the stomach, pulling in. Once we're all curled up, we lift and back. Let's get the three, two, one.